Spy Dynamics Stage Blue. The rules and meaning stage. The stage where life gets more meaning than just survival. And the stage where laws and principles make larger civilizations possible. This is one of the most common stages today, and there's a large chance that you, your parents, or someone you know is at stage blue. So in this video, I'll quickly summarize the stage. Spoil Dynamics Stage Blue. Stage blue is a reaction to the chaos and anarchy of stage red. You evolve to stage blue when you realize how dangerous and unpredictable stage red is. You realize that it's safer to set mutual agreements and boundaries rather than having everything be survival of the fittest. It's better to agree not to murder each other and steal each other's stuff. You might also become stage blue if you realize that stage red lacks meaning. There's no real meaning to life other than survival. In modern times, you might realize that it could easily lead to you serving prison time and that it doesn't exactly make the most friends. And ultimately, that it leads you unfulfilled without a purpose. You could also have trouble operating in modern society without any discipline or long-term planning. Because without those, it easily leads to addictions and criminality, etc. But what is stage blue? I've compiled a list of the most common characteristics of stage blue. First off, at stage blue you have rigid ideologies. Do you believe in a religion or some other belief system? Do you believe in Catholicism, white supremacy, patriotism, nationalism, etc. But the key point is, you believe you are the only one who's correct. Every other religion or every other belief system is wrong. This brings us to the next characteristic. Stage blue tends to be dogmatic and closed-minded. My belief system is right and everyone else is wrong. Christianity is right, it's the best, and you believe everything else is wrong. Or our country is the best country. Or even our race is good and everyone else is bad. That is stage blue. So stage blue tends to be conservative and nationalistic. You can put yourself in the shoes of a flat earther or dogmatic Christian. Even though you explain all the science you know, they're automatically going to dismiss you as wrong. After all, they're the only one who's correct and everyone else is wrong. You can't convince a nationalist that their country isn't the best. You can't convince a creationist that the universe wasn't created by God some thousand years ago. They're locked into their belief system. That's a characteristic of stage blue. Now, stage blue is also characterized by strict morals and rules. The Ten Commandments, laws, and social norms. At stage blue, you judge, moralize, and demonize everyone who doesn't follow your rules. People who don't follow the law, or people that sin. So at stage blue, you really hate it when people swear, have premarital sex, party, listen to rock. You want them to be proper and following your rules. After all, your rules are the only ones that are correct. And now stage blue enforces their rules with punishment, repression, and guilt. If you break the laws, you'll be punished accordingly. Put in jail, grounded, ostracized, justice will be served at stage blue. And at this stage, you stop yourself from breaking those rules by repressing your desires. You repress your impulses. You haven't gotten rid of your desires, you've only repressed them, which oftentimes make your desires even stronger. And repression can only go so far. For example, at blue, it's common that you consider masturbation a sin. And how you deal with that at stage blue is that you repress your sexuality. You repress your sexual needs. And when you eventually sleep up, you suffer due to the guilt you put on yourself. Another characteristic of stage blue is that it's very structural. You often have rigid hierarchies. The idea of women being there to serve men. The idea of respecting your elders, authority figures and teachers. Respecting the Bible and God respecting your parents and teachers. Oftentimes, there's also predetermined outcomes for things that you do. If you sin or break the law, you'll get this punishment. Jail time, or you go to hell, or you're burned at the stake. And if you do this good thing, you get this good reward. So it's all predetermined. Stage blue also tends to be authoritarian. There's always a higher authority. Be it the government, God, the Bible, your parents, your teachers. There's always a higher authority. And at stage blue, you believe everything the authority figure says. You don't really think for yourself in that sense. If you're stage blue and your stage blue president says something, then you blindly believe that. Or if you read something in the Bible, then you blindly believe that. And you believe that everything that's written in the law book, the Bible, and everything they say is correct. If the Bible says the earth is 10,000 years old, then so be it. That's what you'll believe. Everything the Bible says is wrong and a sin, you believe that to be objectively true. Everything's very black and white. Things are either right or wrong. There's no in-between. So that was a list of characteristics. Now where can you find stage blue today? If you look back at middle school, most people tend to be either stage red or stage blue, more than likely including yourself. And a ton of people stay at stage blue their whole lives. Your parents, for example, might still be at stage blue, especially your grandparents. 
around 40% of the global population is still at stage blue, which is a huge amount. In first world countries, rural areas tend to be dominated by stage blue, where city areas tend to lean more against stage orange. But many countries are still dominated largely by stage blue. Countries that focus a lot on religion, especially in the Middle East, Africa, and some parts of Asia. And now it's time for a short list of stage blue values. First up, we have ideology, belief, faith, culture, and tradition. Next, we have morality, following rules and laws, and judging and punishing sinners, or correcting people's behavior, and the idea of justice. Then we have rules, laws, commandments, etc. Because you see, at stage blue, you need these rules to guide your behavior. The rules are the only thing repressing your impulses. You haven't really worked through them. Whereas higher stages, for example, stage orange, green, and above, they don't really require these rules. They don't require them to stop them from manipulating or murdering someone, because they intrinsically don't want to do that. Then stage blue values being proper, being obedient, having good manners and etiquette, or dressing properly, and conformity. Then we have hierarchies and social order. Stage blue values the patriarchy. Stage blue values respecting your elders. And stage blue also values very highly the family. And now we've come to the best part of the video, the list of examples. First up, people at stage blue. We have Republicans and Conservatives, Catholic nuns, the alt-right, and white supremacists. They're often either stage red or stage blue. The Amish, conspiracy theorists, evangelicals. Ben Shapiro is also an excellent example. Also Tucker Carlson. Strict parents is a major one. And also, funnily enough, Batman. I'm vengeance. He's around stage blue, stage orange. Next, some things at stage blue. The Salvation Army, the Catholic Church, the Ten Commandments, Fox News, uniforms, communist China, and medieval Europe. And the military tends to be at stage blue. And now for behaviors at stage blue. Advocating for gun rights, banning abortion and birth control, the war on drugs. That's just a stage blue reaction to stage red and stage green. Then we have building border walls, going on crusades, and religious terrorism, sacrificing for your country, and abstinence education. And finally, some ideas at stage blue. We have nationalism, anti-immigration, Islamic fundamentalism and Christian orthodoxy, creationism, and mandatory military service. Those are all stage blue. What should you avoid doing around stage blue, given you don't want to make them mad? And if you're at stage blue, this list will likely contain loads of things that trigger you. First, we have disrespecting someone at stage blue, especially the authority figure. The Bible, God, parents, teachers. Parents and teachers at stage blue hate being disrespected. They want to be on top on the hierarchy. And stage blue hates it when there's a lack of hierarchy. If women don't serve men. Stage blue also hates that. That's why stage blue tends to want to control women. Stage blue is also triggered by the stages red, orange, green, and yellow. The drugs, lawlessness, chaos, and rap of stage red. The atheism, intellectualism, hedonism, and materialism of stage orange. The progressivism, multiculturalism, and hippies of stage green. Especially some LGBTQ plus people, stage blue despises them and also the relativism and uncertainty of stage yellow. All of this is seen as moral corruption. It's seen as corrupting the culture. The stage blue is highly conservative, so it hates change. And now some issues with stage blue. Stage blue tends to be closed-minded and rigid, which means that it's hard to adapt and it's even harder to change and progress. That's why a lot of people stay at stage blue their whole lives. And as I said before, at stage blue, you're constantly under the pressure of guilt. You repress your impulses rather than transcending them which makes them stronger, leads to guilt, and ultimately suffering. And next, stage blue is highly judgmental and moralizing, which leads to low tolerance and empathy of outsiders and foreigners. Oftentimes, it also leads to racism, homophobia, and misogyny. And as for the positives, stage blue is responsible, predictable, loyal, dedicated, and trustworthy. So how do you transcend stage blue? First, you need to develop awareness of other cultures and belief systems. You need to travel and talk to a lot of diverse people. Talk to the people you hate. And realize the commonality that you share. You're all human. Also, try to realize that your culture and belief system isn't the only right one. And that things are relative. Everything isn't black and white. Everything isn't right or wrong. In fact, there doesn't exist anything as right or wrong. It's all relative. Also, you need to start thinking independently. Don't seek all your answers from your parents, your Bible, the laws, think for yourself. Question the existence of God, 
question your morality. You need to think for yourself what's right and wrong and question the correctness of your beliefs. Then you have to let go of your rules a little. You need to have a little fun. Go party, have sex, masturbate, etc. And realize that it's not all that bad. Then you have to develop a desire for success and personal ambition. Try to develop a want for success and let go of the belief that success and money equals evil. And that's how you move on to the next stage on the spiral, stage orange. You can watch that video next right here. Other than that, out.